And if he be with us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. I encourage each and every one of you today that God has anointed us. We are eagles. We are portraying strength and power and vision and yes, even destruction to our enemy. We Hallelujah. have an enemy. Oh, mighty eagles of God and mighty eaglets of God, you are to rise up. You are to not wait any longer. You know the path of truth. You know the path of righteousness. It has been revealed to you. Even though you've gone through many trials and you've gone through many temptations. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, that God has pulled us through. It has been a struggle, and some of us have suffered, but the Holy Spirit is giving us strength not only for today, but until the end of time. Hallelujah. We have a fresh supply. Did you just hear it? We have a fresh supply of the anointing as we humble ourselves and depend on the God who is the great I Am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is our king. He is our strength. He has the keenness of vision. He has the power to fly because we are able to fly in the spirit and go forth and move in such a mighty way because he is who he says he is. He is our spiritual warrior. Eagles are famous birds. Yes, they are. And they have praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N skills. But you and I are eagles and we have P-R-A-Y-I-N skills and we are W-O-R-S-H-I-P-P-E-R-S and we are what you R-R-I-O-S-I-O-O-S and that's bad. prayer worshipers and let me tell you we are moving as nothing else before I can't stand it I can't be able to move but I tell you this my God is my God he is your God and he is moving on our behalf let me tell you let me tell you, he's still mighty. He's still our God. He still like says, I'm going to prepare you because I have a work for you to do. I have a ministry for you to do. And this is my ministry that God gave me. You're going to find it in the book of Isaiah. Oh, hallelujah. Go with me. There's somebody in Isaiah 61. This is what he called me to do. This is what his work is. Because when Jesus was out in the land, in the country land, people would come around him and he would begin to teach them and he would begin to preach to them. And his disciples would sit around and they would listen to the message and the people would listen and they said, we never heard anything like this before. But look what the Lord says to us today. He says, we're supposed to do the same works, even greater works than he did because he's gone to the Father. I say, he he says this the spirit of the Lord God is upon us I'm going to paraphrase it did you hear it I said I'm going to paraphrase it I'm not changing the word I'm putting it up to us because this is what the Lord has sent us to do he said the spirit of the Lord God is upon us because the Lord has anointed us to preach good things unto the meek hallelujah he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of our vengeance of God to comfort all that mourn. And look what he says on verse 3. Look what he says right there. Come on now. Come on, eagles. Come on, we're going to proclaim this. He said to appoint unto them Mount the morning Zion to give unto them what beauty for ashes. I said give unto
descend upon us. It is King, King, King Jesus. You're coming, and you're coming soon, Father. And then he says this in 61, Isaiah 61, verse 10. Look what he says. I will gladly rejoice in the Lord my soul. For you oh, are joyful in you, God. You have clothed us with the garments of salvation. You have covered us with a robe of righteousness. You have dressed us as a bridegroom, has dressed himself with ornaments, as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as a garden causes those things that are sown into spring forth, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring before all the nations. Now let me tell you this. It is an abomination of the things that they're taking the word of God and making it crooked. Leviathan has got to die. Leviathan, we've got to kill it with the power of prayer and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. we got to come forth because we are people of God. We not fight against flesh and blood, but we take the sword of the Spirit and we cut the head of the Leviathan, of that Goliath, of those filthy words, those things that are confusing our children and they're telling them that they don't know who they are. I'm here to tell them that God created men and women. You are men and women. Hallelujah. And there's no in between. There's no in between. My God. My God, my God, my God. He has not forsaken us. He is still with us. He'll never leave us, and he'll never forsake us. That's why, church, as eagles, and as beginning eagle as to become eagles, that we walk worthy of the book of Ephesians 4 says, Therefore, as prisoners of the Lord, I beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation with which you are called. In other words, this is our walk. That we walk with all loneliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love. The enemy cannot come in through the outside, he'll try to come in through the inside. And if he can cause a fight between the brethren, he'll do it. So you've got to shut the door. Shut it. Yes. And say, don't you come and speak to me about anything that is not right. One thing I taught our church in Jordanton is spiritual authority. You learn spiritual authority. You learn to submit first to God and those who, and then to those who oversee your soul. And then he said to each other. So as eagles that have come in for a landing, let me tell you, you perch yourself up and you get those faith muscles going. And when the devil comes at you, you tell him, take a good look. Because when you look at me, you're going to see the blood of Jesus. That's right. You're going to see Jesus. That's right. John the Baptist said, I must decrease and he must increase. In other words, Jesus, you go more in me. Jesus, you make me strong. Jesus, let me take the word of God and wrap it around me. You saturate me with your spirit. You make me strong. You make these knees to move. You make these feet to move. You give me the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no weakness in the spirit of God. There is nothing but strength That's right. and power and anointing in the name of Jesus. So I call forth those eagles as we were told when we went, oh, glory to God, to the glory of Zion. He said, I send you out. I send you out. Go. Because where you go, I will go with you. I will provide. You don't need to worry about that. I'll take all good care because it is his movement. It is his work. It is he who does it. You know why? 
we are going to grow even stronger. We're going to move in the power of the Holy Spirit because the book of Ephesians chapter 414 so that we henceforth be no more children. I'm not a baby anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. I am nearly full grown and I thank God for Joshua and Caleb. I thank God that they were 80 years old. I thank God for Aaron and Moses. I thank God there's still hope for us in our 70s. Hallelujah. And there's hope for you. There's hope for you. And so I'm going to close in this. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may he give you peace. Will you stand with me this morning? Oh, hale makashe tere, hale indiri makoso tere, hale kalelelele, yendere bakoso ya, holi katanda ya la masoto rohi tara basi, hale indiri makaya, holi indiri makohi, hatunda rabaka ya. Lord, Lord, you have heard every message that was preached here today. Father God, your we're in the room of the throne room, sitting at the right hand of the Father. And you have given every message that was well prepared, well saturated with your spirit, well developed to bring honor and glory to you. There is so much that is needed yet to perfect us, Lord. But we're here as willing vessels. We're here, Father, to say, Thy will be done. We're here to say, Father God, that we humbly bow before you. And we thank you for every man and woman that is here today. Every apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, and evangelist that is going to help, that is going to prepare these eagles to fly as eagles. To know, Father God, that you're in charge of their, low, of their lives and their souls. Lord, as we move forward from this place, may we lay hold of everything we've heard. May we know that we can stand and acknowledge that you are Lord, that you are King, and that you are our Deliverer. And Lord, for the United States of America, we are in your army. We are all different ranks. We are all special forces. We come in camouflage, hallelujah. Our camouflage is the spirit of the most high God. We have been trained. We have been equipped. We have knowledge. We have your wisdom. We know that we can move forward. We know, Father God, that we have been prepared for such a time as this. We know, Father God, that we've been saturated. And we know, Father God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And we know, Father, we have every tool at our hands, Father, to be able to wear off the enemy. We have the tool of prayer. We have the tool of worship. We have the tool of preaching the gospel. And Lord, we thank you because above all, we have the whole